Yeah, check out this beautiful baby here. Oh, this is the Rolls Royce of the battery chargers, man. This is so amazing. So little, lightweight, watertight, and you can put like a 36 volts battery, 48 volts battery, 52 volts battery, whatever you have there, man. So this is the first one they released in 2015, and they, they just come up with two different models here. Oh, uh, this is a lower voltage, high amperage. And this is the a bit lower amperage and high voltage, 103 volts. And you can custom change all the profiles here by software, or you can do this via uh, like a display here, man. Just using these little buttons here and play. This has got like a little computer here, man. Oh, look, this is one kilo charger, man. This is so light, man. This is actually designed to be mounted in your bicycle frame. How cool this thing looks, man. Eh? Check this out. Oh, on the website, they actually have a picture mounted on a bicycle just like that. And check this single last, eh? you know, don't worry about getting all the impacted vibration, man. This thing is really strong. I'm gonna break my finger here, right? I better stop. Uh, right, sir. So you got uh, actually a watertight uh, connection here. Okay, so you got a rubber ring here. Oh, uh, I'm gonna show. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, right? And then I uh, got another connector here. So this is oh, this is a new tricks XLI connector, the best brand for XLI connection, man. Eh? The best premium charger, premium connector, and then this is the Anderson connector, which is a standard for you know with the Anderson plugs. So you might just get an adapter here. It's pretty basic. You can make one. I'm gonna be showing in a different video how to make your own adapter, something like that. Okay, so for Dolphin batteries and some like a frame mount batteries. Okay, right, so cool. Oh, I'm gonna connect here just so you see how it looks, right? All right, so ta -da, that's your charger. So if you're gonna program this thing via software, you're gonna get this cable from green. You can't buy this thing from eBay, okay? So this is actually, uh, it connects, uh, it talks to the software there. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you as well. And then you connect here. This is the programming connection. Woo, just like the psychoanalyst. So it's the same cable, all right? So. Beautiful. I'm gonna be showing here a little bit of the settings here. Okay, so you can do the programming, but you can do it on the display as well. I'm gonna zoom in here. Uh, this is the CD here. So this is the default one. So when you connect uh, to the power, that's the default that I picked it for my charger here, right? So, and then, okay, so 52 volts. Let's just go to the very first one here. Okay, so we change the settings, uh, the profiles here, right? So for our batches that we have here, right? The ones that comes from green, pretty similar. Okay, let's just browse here, okay? So this is the number one, uh, 24 volts, SLA battery, lead acid battery, uh, and they see here like this is the 29.6 volts, uh, 7 amps, okay, and then you go to the next one, so this is a 36 volt lithium uh, battery, this is the fast charge, okay, so 42 volts, 4 amps, okay, which is pretty fast, and then you're gonna go here, this is the standard charge, uh, 42 volts, 3 amps, okay, and then you go here, 80% charge, okay? You're gonna be increasing the life of your battery pack, okay? So you charge, you see, you decrease the voltage a little bit, and you, this is very gentle as well, so lower amperage, so this is very gentle to your battery, okay? And then you're gonna go 48 volts, lithium battery, and then you, this is the fast charge, fast charge for most Dolphin batteries, and like all this, like a frame mount batteries, they have a very, very small BMS, Next one, standard charge, uh, which is 3 amps, 54.5, and then you're gonna go here, 80% charge, increase the life of your batteries, okay? So, and then you're gonna go 52.6 volts, 2.5 amps, very gentle, and then this is for 52 volts, 14 s batteries. They're normally more powerful, more like performance batteries, okay? And then you're gonna go here, oh, this is 58.8 volts, 4.5 amps, okay? Uh, and then this is fast charge, okay? So this is 58.8 volts, 6 amps charge, okay? This is pretty fast. Uh, and then uh, you're gonna go here, 90% charge, okay? You decrease the voltage, increase the life of battery pack, and then a bit more gentle here, and then 80% charge, man, 53.2 and 4 amps, okay? Uh, you can change all these things on software, or you can change here. I'm gonna be showing here, so you hold two buttons here. Uh, okay, and then you're gonna go here, oh, uh, so, uh, edit profiles. 
and then you're gonna go here you hold this button here you go in and this one is kind of like out or the the function you, you you go here okay so you go oh edit your profiles and then you're gonna go here uh and let's say i want to edit something here let's say i want to edit this thing i'm gonna go oh uh, look i'm gonna hold in okay and then i'm gonna go yes active i want this thing showing the screen uh and then go down down modify i hold this thing down okay and i'm gonna go here Woo! and then i have so many options here okay look i can change the voltage can change the amperage uh, I can go like a complete. As soon as you complete uh, the uh, reach the voltage, and it holds to 0.1 amps. Uh, Trico start. You don't need this thing. Okay, go go. This is like a it calculates for you, but you can do it manually as well. Okay, and then okay, save profile. Woo! And then you're just gonna hold this button here. Exit. Okay. And then gonna go here. There's some other advanced settings here. Okay. So uh. Hold it in. See, like a flip screen upside down. If you want to have this thing mounted upside down on the bike, or oh, the brightness, the screen saver, five minutes. Okay, so a long press, uh, and all these sort of things here. Okay, cancel settings. Right. So then you're gonna get connect to the PC, connect the programming cable there, and then uh, you're gonna connect to the PC. You actually have this to have this thing selected, right? So let's just do here. I'm gonna show uh, how I do these things via software. Okay. Oh, ready for PC connection, right? So let me connect this thing to the computer. I'm gonna be showing you on the screen, right? So you're gonna get on the website. You're gonna download a zip file uh, with the software there. Okay. So you're gonna download this thing. And you're gonna extract the zip into a folder or something right you double click you're gonna open the app i have i have it open already okay so let's just see here Woo! right and then you see all this uh see there's a connection button here and then you're gonna go connect right so connect to cycle data go com3 okay uh it might be different in your computer com5 or something right so they all got the settings here right so these are the settings we program here okay so then you're gonna go here 24 volts sla battery and then you go here you can change uh you just go edit your profile and then you change here okay you can change the voltage the amperage and then you go override uh defaults and then kind of like a calculates this thing for you so you don't have to oh do some calculations there okay so you just need to know the uh the correct voltage for that battery okay and then uh you're gonna go here 36 volts and you can change it you can go for 4.5 4, 4 or whatever there okay so let's just go and create a new profile here okay so new profile and then you can choose a uh, lithium battery lead acid battery nickel cadmium battery okay so let's just go here uh, and create something uh different uh okay so lithium uh let's say 60 volts or something uh, uh something like that i don't know just an example here okay custom whatever and then you're gonna go here so i don't know like let's put 60 three volts is a uh, doesn't make sense okay it's just an example and uh yeah let's keep like six amps or something like that okay and then gonna go here oh and then it's show this thing it does all the calculation here for you and then i'm gonna go finish Ta -da! let me show you here in the video and then you select the thing if you want to show on the right so you know, otherwise it's going to be a hidden profile right and then if you click this thing here see this little dot this is gonna make this as a default so when I turn the charger on uh, this thing is gonna come up first right but I'm actually deleting this profile here okay because I don't need this thing uh, yeah I'm deleting yeah I don't need that so I'm gonna go uh, 14 as a standard charge okay that's the default that I'm gonna have there okay so and then I'm gonna go oh, oh here and then I'm gonna go uh, save data I'm gonna save data here right I didn't change anything uh and then yeah okay and then you're gonna go here and disconnect right or well, you can actually read the data here okay so and then you disconnect and that's it it's all done right so and then you see it shows here 38 model 48 volts 
Uh, but as soon as you connect that, we're gonna tell you, oh, you're actually using the 48 volts motor, you're using the 24 volts motor, and 72 volts motor. So this is the 72 volts model it detects here. You got a 72 volts model radiator. Uh, those are the settings that comes from green. We haven't done any change. So 48 volts, uh, 52 volts as usual. And then uh, 72 volts lithium standard charge. 72 volts lithium, 85% charge. Same but in 88 volts, okay? And then a uh, life battery, okay? So this is a different chemistry battery, okay? Uh, it's a safer chemistry, okay? And then uh, this is a uh, lead acid battery, which is a car battery, truck battery, and everything is in like increments of 12 volts. As you see, 48 volts, 60 volts, 72, 84. So this is when they group a lot of batteries together, uh, like solar panels or UPS, okay? Which is uh, like a battery battery bank that they use in case of like uh, energy goes down in a shopping center or like a uh, Google servers you don't want to lose all data there so he holds all the power up okay so they use large banks for this okay and then let's check the view device settings uh, so device settings and you can change the brightness you can rotate the display and then you can do a long press time that's how long you're gonna hold this thing together like that's how long you're gonna hold the button to get to the next setting. And then cable resistance, okay? So every single cable, you're gonna have a small internal resistance. Uh, and this is how much the, the wire that goes from the XLR cable to the uh, sidiator, that's the internal resistance there. If you change this number here, you might be playing with like the voltage, you might be a bit incorrect, okay? So if you click here in help, you can see the history of the charge, okay? So you can see how many hours this thing has been used. And then if it's a second hand, you see, oh, 300 hours, 700 hours or something like that, okay? So this is a brand new one, so zero. And then there's another thing I'd like to show here. Uh, what is it? Uh, you can load profiles, uh, save your new profiles, and you can check for new software. You can check for new firmware. Ch uh, look, check this thing. So firmware checker, and then it checks, oh yeah, this is up to date, close. Uh, if not, you can just load a new one, uh, update or sidiator uh, firmware, and it comes up here, and then you brought, you actually select the file, and then update the firmware, okay? And then you're just gonna go and load it all up. Boom, 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 and then close. This is the website where they talk about all these things I'll be talking on the video, okay? So they're gonna be showing, uh, explaining everything here, right? So they, they, there's a like brochure thing, and then they're gonna go here, talk about water tie, very compact, very small, powerful, da da da. And check this thing here. Oh, this is the yellow bag that I mentioned. And look how cool this thing looks, eh? Explain uh, all the pins inside the connector. Uh, like, I mean, very technical, pretty cool. If you're a geek, you're gonna love this thing, okay? And they go explain the software, all the things, how you connect to your computer, blah, 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 some specs for you, and yeah. So I've been charging this battery here that I just made, okay? So this is a 52 volts battery, 17.5 amps an hour, pretty big, a lot of cells here, 70 cells, would take a long time with the standard charger, right? So and check out the numbers here, man. I've been uh, charging this for, at 6 amps uh, and for 3 hours, 3 minutes, 58.9 volts, 0.6 amps because now it's dropping the amperage, okay? So I actually pumped at 16.7 amps an hour to this pack, okay? Uh, and 49 degrees, 35 watts at the moment, okay? It's decreasing. And check out, there's some more information here, okay? Uh, and then this is what I like most, man. This is fantastic. So it shows uh, he actually started at 44.3 volts and increased the voltage, increased the voltage all the way to 58.9 and then drop the amperage here see it dropped the amperage see this bar here so this is how it works and you ended up learning things with this charger right so this is pretty pretty cool uh that's the old model here okay so with the front connection here right so the new models they come with the connection here in the back right so which makes more sense cycle satiator this is the coolest battery charger ever man Oh, from green technology. Oh yeah. Arr, 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 arr. Power. Love you. Ah.